Ito ang Broad Streamcast Communicators. Ang naiba at kakaibang plataforma sa digital broadcast. Mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao hanggang sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Broad Streamcast Communicators. Ang sandiga ng sambayanan mula sa walang labis at walang kulang na pagbabalita, paglilingkod, maglalahad ng mga mapagbuong komentaryo at usaping pambayan para sa kapakanan ng karamihan. Broad Streamcast Communicators, tuwirang maglilingkod ngayon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. online, chikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan. Ating tunghayan, pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online. Buhay online, chikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan. Alamin ang pinakalatest trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang sa anak ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito. At ngayon, narito na ang ating host, ang ating Teki Mami, si J. C. Bautista. Hello there, boys and girls. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Oh my gosh, I've been grappling with my with the technical technical things. My goodness, you know. Uh, late na naman ako because I oh, naghang yung computer ko. I it's really asking for. For Kapalet, you know, my computer's asking me to to buy a new one. Hello there, Cynthia Buste. I missed you. Thank you. Nice to see you back. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, Cynthia. Happy Tuesday to you. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about, of course, updates on technology regarding every aspect of our lives, from uh, medicine to education, of course, to government to a livelihood, right? And sandali lang. I found this uh, thing to talk about because I, I got uh, questions and uh, suggestions from the email regarding topics to talk about, okay? But I, I have been struggling with my internet. Actually, not it's not the internet. It's my computer that's been having a problem, right? So, <clears throat> okay. Uh, and... Uh, some parents uh, have emailed me to ask me to talk about this subject matter, okay? Let me just, okay, this is already finished. I will just remove topics that I, we already uh, addressed yesterday, okay? And uh, change my, uh, hello there, Sincha, yes, change my graphics because I didn't have time to do it. Ascension, I will do it with you guys. This subject matter that uh, is uh, was uh, e emailed to me as well. Okay. Uh -huh. it, I, I think it's a, yes, it's a serious thing nowadays because technology, of course, is not only in the world of education and all that. Gaming has been a problem. I mean, not a problem, but a lot of kids nowadays uh, into video games there that's the subject we will talk about later okay and uh, i think uh some of these okay uh, uh some of these other subject matters yesterday that we were not able to tackle right but because my computer's been hanging and it's hanging right now <laughs> what am i to do oh my gosh my computer is hanging Anyway, I have to restart my computer, and if I do that, I'm going to lose my broadcast. But but uh, it's not responding. Yikes. Mm, what do I do? Well, my Google Chrome is not responding. What to do? What to do? I do not want to, to remove the broadcast because I'm going to have to uh, enter again. But, uh, well, I have no choice. 
Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. What is happening? Okay. Because in my phone, I can see it, but Google Chrome ah, is not working. I have to restart my computer. Oh my goodness, what to do? What to do? Uh, anyway, I think I know what to do. Uh, what's happening? Actually, it's actually working, but very slowly. All right, this is what I'm gonna do, okay? Um, okay, anyway, uh, there is the question that was posted, uh, that was uh, sent to me, and it's about the age-old question of, are video games good or bad for kids, okay? Okay, let's answer this question, all right? Are video games good or bad for kids, okay? Okay, well, creativity-wise or for entertainment, you know, we know that it's a way, like nowadays, right? What do kids, what do parents do? Uh, in this age of uh, internet and technology, children nowadays are used to using tablets or smartphones to play or learn their lessons as well. But then it also re removes the, the, the opportunity or the of human interaction. Hello there, Jeannie Soldevilla. Nice to see you again. Hello, welcome, welcome. Good morning. So I think technology has also given, uh, in a way, affected the way people uh, interact personally, right? Even the, the way that the children are growing up now, I'm not so much into kids playing with a tablet all the time, babies learning from tablets all the time. I think the human touch is more personal and more effective as far as uh, you know comprehension is concerned because but the thing is a lot of stuff especially nowadays that online education is is is, is existent right uh, like for the for the, the young children the way they learn their lessons it's gamified okay that's why in that sense okay video games has become useful because a lot of the the, the study materials have been gamified in the sense that, you know, there's 3D graphics, right? There's graphics, there, there's moving, uh, uh, the lessons are moving. There's like, you know, there's a graphic, there's a graphical interface in the materials. That's how it, uh, video games, the video games uh, premise has been incorporated in the education of the, our children. But is it good or bad? All right, that is the question. Uh, are video games good for children or bad? Okay. Okay, let's answer the question, okay? Uh, the thing about it is, you can see like my son loves video games, right? I told you like, and he's a cosplayer. He's practically always playing games after school. Uh, and I have seen how it could be detrimental okay, to one's health also. Because after, because I, I, before when he was growing up, okay, I would only allow him like an hour or so to spend on playing games when it's a weekend. And, and then on school days, not at all. But, but my son is now 18 going on 19. And I can't pretty much watch him all the time, what he's doing online. So it's, a, uh, it's an honor system for us. But I, I know for a fact that my son, <clears throat> you know, he, he goes through his online classes, so, so umaga, right, the so morning, and then, and then stays late at night. I can hear him chatting with friends or whatever. And at, at the same time, also, he's saying that he's studying too. But... I cannot curtail that anymore, especially that he's almost an adult, all right? In American standards, he's already an adult. So, hindi ko na yun pwedeng sabihin sa kanya, huwag ka mag-internet ng gantong oras, blah, blah, blah. And ang sinasabi ko lang is, you know, the time that you spend playing video games or like chatting, because nowadays, those video games have a chat component, eh. Pwede ka makipag-usap sa kalaro mo. So, yun ang, I think, and that is like, 
that is uh, like social media na rin, yung gaming, okay? Uh, so, like my son spends hours every day in his room playing, okay? Uh, is there any educational value to video games? Okay? Some seem like they could help people learn, okay? Like I said, because some of the, the materials for online schooling are, are gamified, okay? Some games might improve a kid's hand-eye coordination and problem-solving skills. Video games that require kids to actually move or manipulate the game through their own physical movement can even get sedentary kids moving. Diba? Especially now, itong, yan, distance learning dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, sedentary ang mga bata nakaupo lang nakatitig sa computer. But not as much as if they actually played outside, di ba? Iba, iba, iba naman yung, it's a different feeling if our kids go out, uh, ride a bike, or yung physical uh, exercise. Like my son, I mean, he asked me to buy him a bike, but he rarely uses it because he's always pent up in his room, okay, studying or otherwise, right? So for kids and teens, okay, uh, like a, because like a lot of aspects in raising children, okay, when it comes to video games, ang pinaka-healthy na approach, of course, is moderation, which is like what I've been telling my son. Please devote, okay, most of your four or five hours in a day is, is devoted to school, okay, I will allow you, okay, one to two hours of, uh, of uh, playing video games or watching Netflix or whatever a day, but you can have it either one hour in the afternoon or morning or one hour in the evening. Not all hours of the night when you know, umaga na sa kakalaro or chat, right? So for kids and teens, 5 to 18 years old, okay, ex experts recommend that parents place limits on time spent using any media, diba? Using kahit na ano, whether it's on your their cell phone or naka, naka laptop sila or kung saan nila yung ginagamit kung social media or sa gaming, okay? Dapat we have to curtail their time spent online, right? This includes playing video games on gaming consoles, tablets, or smartphones, all right? Using media should not take the place of getting enough sleep or being physically active, okay? So consider setting limits to keep game playing from interfering with schoolwork or their household chores and the physical activity that your son really needs every day, okay? That's why we have to make sure, okay? We have to make sure that the time spent, okay, is not, uh, is not all the time na lang doing, uh, doing, uh, playing video games, all right? But, but there are, okay, let's talk about the good that we can see uh, in playing video games, okay? Because there are some, good that it can uh, do right like i said especially for young children the lessons are gamified okay let's face it when it comes to kids you know video games are, are like a no-no for some parents okay uh if you're a parent who's wondering if you, you should allow your kids to play video games do you think letting them play video games will cause them to do bad in school become become socially reclusive or potentially misbehave well there are, like I'm saying now, there are two sides, niba. Meron dalawang sides sa, sa kwento na to. And we're talking about video games now. There are actually some pretty great benefits that your kids can enjoy if you let them play from time to time, okay? Yun na nga, i-monitor niyo yung oras or, or give them uh, a time frame na pwede silang maglaro, niba? I-allot yung oras sa paglaro. Like I said, sabi ko, yung anak ko, five hours is spent on, on studying and then he has two hours to to use on on the internet, whether it's morning, isang oras, uh, or sa gabi, isang oras. And whether he wants to use that to play video games or watch Netflix, it doesn't matter. But not all hours of the night till morning to spend on playing video games, okay? From increased physical activity to improve memory and broad, broaden social activity, uh, let me give you some reasons why. I think playing video games may actually be good for your children, okay? Okay, let's check, all right? Th let's check the physical benefits, okay? When they play video games, yung dexterity nila ma, ma de develop or motor skills, right? Uh, number one, better motor skills, okay? 
better motor skills for the, the children. One study found that surgeons who had played video games in the past made fewer errors, were 27% faster, and scored 42% better on surgery and suturing drills when sur than surgeons who never played video games before. Oh, diba? Uh-huh. Ibig kong sabihin, right? Uh-huh. So, hold on a second, okay? Sorry. Because naglolok ito. Huh? What is it? All right, so yeah. So th that's number one, better motor skills, right? Okay? Number two, improved vision. Aba? This negates naman yung <laughs> improved vision samantalang, di ba? Kailangan mo nga ng UV glasses. Right? Kailangan mo ng UV glasses. You know, you need UV glasses to protect you from staying on screen all the time. What well, anyway, yeah. Uh, all right. Ayan, bumalik na yung aking Google Chrome. My gosh. Because kanina nagloko, sobra. So, yeah. So, going back to what I was saying, okay, number two, improved vision, okay? Uh, playing action video games improves a visual ability na important for tasks like reading, driving at night, sabi ng isang study, okay? Uh, so, nakaka-improve ng vision daw playing video games, okay? Number three is full body movement, okay? One study stated that active video games can boost kids' moderate and vigorous activity, okay? Uh, activity levels, okay? Keeping them moving and active. Yan daw, okay? Uh, all right? I cannot see my broadcast. Anyway, it's all right. Am I still broadcasting? Am I still broadcasting? I think because uh, I can see myself on Facebook. Okay, very good. Okay, but not on my laptop. It's all right. It's all right. So continuing on to what I was saying, right? Number three is full body movement. Number four, video games now can help burn calories. Paano? Paano kaya? It can help burn calories. All right. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Charlie, because I can't see myself in my in my uh, in my laptop because I had to reboot uh, re remove Google Chrome. But anyway, so yeah. So number number four, video games now can burn calories. Kids who were given active video games to play with, kunyare, in kunyare, merong weight problem, they're more they're more likely now to lose weight. Okay, whatever it is psychologically, right? Okay, number five pa, video games can help with pain management. How? How? Researchers found out that playing video games may release some severe pain, and certain video games might be even better than pain medication. Really? Pero pag, pero pag ako yung pag, pag broadcast, ah, pag broadcast, pag katrabaho ko all day sitting down is not good for me talaga, my back and my legs, whatever. Anyway, some studies show that playing video games actually also may improve balance in the elderly. Parents can take advantage of exercise-based games to reap the balanced benefits for their kids, okay? Ano pa? Number seven, okay? It can keep your cravings in check, okay? Yung one study revealed a 24% reduction in desire for a snack or sugary beverage. Ayun na nga. Yun ang problema ko. Minsan, yung anak ko para kasi, my son, you know, when, when we do groceries, I always buy him snacks. And I count this, the number of snacks every day that he consumes. Parang, tapos, yung kakabid, yung game, kakabid, yung game, or nasa computer all the time. I noticed that his his snack uh, his snack uh, stash is almost uh, not nababawasan. So, naisip ko talaga, nakakortail yung desire niya mag-snack. Ako naman, I'm concerned because I want him to, to have his snacks. Because ayokong papayat yung anak ko. But, but they said now, uh, when you're playing video games, it keeps your cravings in check. Or your desire for a snack or a sugary beverage after playing a video game is curtailed. No? Uh, especially if the, the video game that you're playing 
involves puzzles or problem solving. Ayan, siguro nga. Siguro sa kakaisip, hindi na lang naisip magutong. Alright? Ano pa? There's also advantages of video gaming sa mental mental uh, improvement. There's mental improvements that can be made pagka maglaro ng video games. Anong ibig sabihin? Sabi ti, according to the University of California, okay, playing 3D, okay, 3D video games requires children to use a special part of their brain that when stimulated, boosts their memory. Hello there, Charlie! Welcome, welcome to the show, Charlie. Di ba totoo yun? Sa, sa tingin mo, yung video games daw nakakapag-improve ng memory. I think so, right? Tsaka nga yung dexterity, really. Yung pagiging, uh, 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 yung, uh, what do you call this? Yung reaction, mabilis yung pag-react, right? Okay. Ah, ito pa. Okay, mental improvement, psychological improvements of video games. Uh, number nine is possible dyslexia benefits. If you know dyslexia and what it is, okay, uh, playing video games may help children with dyslexia improve their reading skills, okay, according to research, right? Uh, okay, so another thing is, okay, uh, how it uh, is beneficial uh, mentally. It, it boosts interest now in certain school subjects. So, to, because there are also games that are educational, right? And and uh, like I said, a lot of some school materials have they they gamified it, okay? Turned it into interactive things. Many video games have historical settings and events that drive the game, leaving players with an intense interest in history. Oh nga, you alam ko yung mga video games ng araw ng where is uh what is that game? I forget where is something. Yung babaeng pangalan na limot ko na. Kasi uh, I've been playing video games yun talaga. Before ako, noon talagang video games was my thing. Eh. My, my family, we even had a game room before in the 80s, okay? We had a game room in Santa Mesa with my mom. It, it was very bad because it was near the school. But uh, kasi we had a food, uh, parang food court there. And then naglagay ng video games. My mom, of course, been alis na after a while because it was near the school. Zoning wasn't allowing it, but but I used to play video games growing up as a child. I've always been techy mommy, you know. But then, yeah, right? And some of those uh, uh, video games nga have histor historical backgrounds, so it will also boost the interest of the kids in, for example, ge geography. Also, right? Ano pa? It promotes thinking on your feet. Playing fast-paced strategy video games can help the brain to become more agile and improve strategic thinking according to new research. Yun na nga, talaga, yung games of strategy talaga naman eh, and cunning, di ba? Yung mga role-playing games, you can be creative, you, can, you know, because of that. And, sabi nila, another study suggested that video games can keep the minds young, Okay. One new study suggested that regularly playing a video game that forces people to multitask can improve basic cognitive function. Oo naman nga. Talaga naman talaga. Dahil yung dexterity nga, lahat, yung critical thinking, lahat yun in play when you're playing, when you're do, playing certain video games. Pero dapat yun, like I tell my son nga, you use it for good, okay? You use it for, for school, right? For for being more effectively studying. Hindi lahat laro-laro lang, okay? Another thing is, it sparks an interest in technology, all right? Studies show that lots of children become tech-savvy by playing video games, right? Uh, helping them take an interest in video game design and coding. Ayan nga. A lot of the... Maraming mga nagbe-video games is mga ano eh, interested in IT and technology, right? Because... For, for obvious reasons, diba? Ah, uh, ito pang isa, of course. Now, we said, uh, we said that um, video games help sa physical, sa physical benefit, okay, which is better motor skills, improved vision, full body movement, burning calories, and then we said mental improvement, all right? Now, uh, let's talk about the social development of a person. Pero, ito hindi ako masyadong ano kasi, yun na nga eh. Yung interaction niya naging, Hi there, Joey! 
Welcome, Joey Ortiz. Hello. Good morning to you. Thank you for for dropping by. Okay, we're talking about the video games. Is it bad for, for our children? Okay, video games. Or, or for people, per se, not lang children eh. Tao per se, kasi may mga, may mga matatanda naman talagang addicted din sa pag-video games, right? Okay, so let's talk about the social development aspect of video games, right? Sabi nila, some ex- Forbes magazine had a, a study and reported that some video games help strengthen the kids' leadership skills. Totoo naman, kasi di ba yun nga yung pagka meron kang gru- uh, group or team, team game, ikaw yung leader, yung nga, yung strategic mo, yung mga planning mo na na na, hon, na, na, na develop right? Uh, it strengthens kids' leader, leadership skills mainly because kids are held responsible for promoting character safety. Yan na nga, yung, yung leadership skills na de-develop kasi yung pagsa-strategize, pagpa-plano, nasa yung shoulders, nakapasan, right? So, it promotes leadership and it broadens, okay, another aspect, another thing is it broadens the social activity daw, okay? One research study suggested that online gaming may actually broaden a player's social life. Yes, I, I, I can attest to that because, like I said, my son's been a gamer since I don't know, as, as, as early as when he was 10 or 9, 10 years old. And, he, and like I said, games nowadays have chat components and you actually play with with people all over the world my son's network of friends ex, uh, spans borders okay he has japanese friends european friends whatever friends so yung network lumalaki okay it broadens their social uh, lives okay and uh, my son's uh, virtual friends uh, have become his real time friends i met a lot of his friends of course in the philippines right and in america too that he's that he's been playing and with and speaking with for the past whatever three four years, right? Yung mga virtual friends naging reality. Pero you have to also be careful about that, right? As uh, as we talk about those mga uh, g- cyber criminals. Hi Angelica, happy Tuesday. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. You know, naman delayed yung pagakit na mga pangalan sa aking uh, telepono and etong desktop, tung laptop ko naman. Hindi ako naka on, naka on naka online dun sa laptop ko kasi reset ko kanina, right? So um I cannot see myself on my laptop. But anyway, so yeah, so that's what it is about broadening social activity using video games. And what else pa? Social acti- socially, it teaches uh, them how to share, okay? Okay? Sharing, right? And caring and being mindful about others. Video games teach kids how to share in a number of ways, okay? Not only do they need to take turns actually playing a game, but they learn how a shared conversation occurs. Kasi nga, sabi ko, di ba, may chat component na ngayon yung mga video games. At uh, atong, ang huling uling bagay na nakabutihan ng video games is uh, kids inspire, uh, our, uh, kids are, na, natutu, natututo silang maging storytellers it's a, it inspires storytelling between them kids who play video games tend to be more creative right with writing stories and drawing pictures this is according to a research done by the michigan state university right all right so yan okay yan ang mga mga i see that are reasons why playing video games can be good for your children for our kids okay from physical activity to improve memory and broaden social activity, okay, those are the reasons why, okay, I, I think um, gaming is good for the children, all right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, but can, can video games really be good for the kids? You know, I think, of course, meron pa rin of course, ang, ang pinaka-importante is yung guidance from the parents, right? Kasi we have to stop demonizing video games, di ba? Kasi lahat ng magulang most of the time, pag video games na, galit na. Kasi believe it or not, video games are actually good for kids in moderation. Ayan ang key dyan eh. Everything in moderation. Kasi it, it helps them to improve on crucial skills like I mentioned. 
that they can use in the real world, right? Diba? So in a nutshell, okay, it boosts problem-solving skills, okay? Video games can spark interest in history and culture. Video games can help your child socialize. And they can actually encourage exercise. At isa pang bagay, competition, di ba? Competition is normal and healthy for kids. And parents should not try to stop a child's competitive behavior. Kailangan natin yan sa buhay, di ba? Lalo sa pag, pag malaki na sila at sa pagbuhay ng how to fend in the world. It's, it's good to have a competitive nature, right? Video games provide a great outlet for your child to be competitive, okay? Your child will compete with and against their friends in attempt to win the game or beat the other's high score. Sa buhay, ganun din tayo, laban lang, di ba? Video games are a safe place to express those competitive urges, urges okay? Perhaps more importantly, okay, it can give children who aren't good at sports a chance to excel, di ba? Yun yun eh, virtual life mo, kung ma- mahina ka sa sports, sa skwela, at least sa video games, magaling ka, right? Giving your child a competitive outlet is important for a child's development. It will teach them that competitiveness can be a healthy behavior, okay? Okay, so yun na, creativity, na-mention na natin yan, alright? So that's my, my take on video games, alright? Okay, so going back to uh, the other subject matters here na hindi ko na napagdaan. Uh, th- I talked about yesterday, right, that the, the DOJ is warning public say versus fake delivery couriers, okay? Alam na natin yan, be careful. Uh, Okay, sabi ni Miss Angelica, I agree with you, Mom J. My son plays too, but he knows his limits. Then he stopped and told me he got bored na daw. So now, he is just reading uh, anime and manga books. That's right, very good. Ayan din, yung pagbabasa ng manga at anime books rin eh. And I think, ama, ang da, ano ngayon yan, very, very popular or rampant no? sa mga bata nowadays. And uh, yes, that's right. Everything in moderation lang talaga, Angelica. That's all we can do for our kids. And like, pero like I said, ako, my son's 18 going on 19. Hindi ko na siya pwedeng pagsabihan na or bantayan, much less even studying. I cannot go look over his shoulders, right? And uh, and watch if he's learning or watching Netflix or whatever. Masyado ng ano yun. Pero the young children, right, they're the ones mostly enjoying studying online, right? Because, because nga gamified yung mga lessons, mas, nat- mas natutuwa sila, right? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we also mentioned uh, before, right? Okay. Ano ba to? Hold on a second, please. Because my Google Chrome is now starting to work. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Because my uh, hold on, please. So I want to talk about this. This uh, there's three technologies that uh, Europe is trying is uh, doing right now here. Okay, this is regarding the ba. Nowadays, we, we notice the, the climate change, right? And why, it's, why is it happening? Uh, okay. Hold on a sec. There you go. I'm going to talk about uh, three technologies that are powering Europe's hydrogen ambitions. Okay, let's talk about, let's talk about international technology. Naman, okay. Uh, because Europe strives to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050, hydrogen will play a crucial role in cutting emissions across all sectors. Ito ang kanilang gagawin. Kasi sabi nila, decarbonization has to be affordable for it to be sustainable. Okay? Totoo naman. Achieving net zero emissions by 2050, ayan ang goal nila sa Europe, requires dramatic actions and investments over the next decade. In any country naman, di ba? According to the World Energy Outlook published by International Energy Agency in October this, this month, 
th that includes innovation across a broad range of intermediary and technologies that increase the efficiency to reduce CO2 emissions and realize the potential of hydrogen, okay? Decarbonization has to be affordable for it to be sustainable. And these three intermedi intermediary technologies are central to, your, to Europe's ambitions for a hydrogen-powered future, okay? Uh, diba? ang, ang, ang ginagawa, ang gusto ng, ng Europe, okay, is to have cleaner cities, okay? Cleaner cities ang kanilang goal. Sino bang hindi may gusto nun, right? We all want cleaner cities, alright? Ayan ang itsura, o, oh, ang ganda. Isipin mo, cleaner cities. Ay, I'm moving my own. Okay, there. Alright? Cleaner cities. Solid oxide fuel cells offer another avenue to low carbon or no carbon and heat generation, particularly para sa mga buildings, okay? Buildings which account for around 40% of energy consumption and 36% of emissions in the in Europe, incorporating a micrograss turbine into the system. So, you can use solid oxide fuel cells for all the fuel mixes, including biogas, natural gas, and hydrogen. So you have full flexibility. So they want, and you have almost no emissions and generate higher efficiency and less de degradation over the, the years compared to a gas engine of the same size. So they, they want to deliver our, their first hybrid SOFC unit in Europe, okay? The solid oxide fuel cells or SOFC is another avenue for them to have low carbon or emission dito sa, sa, sa Europe. So, yan ang kanilang isa sa technology na i-introduce nila to have cleaner cities. Ang isa pa is for cleaner power. Ang tawag dito sa technology na to is combined cycle gas turbine or CCGT. Okay? Combined cycle gas turbine or CCGT recover exhaust heat from gas-powered turbines and use it to generate steam that powers mga steam turbines. The result, using this uh, CCGT, is the cleanest and highest efficiency power generation using fossil fuels. Wow, grabe, no? Nearly all of the parts in such turbines can run on hydrogen as well. So, pinapatakbo lahat ito ng hydrogen. So, only parts of these CCGTs need to be retrofitted to be able to use 100% hydrogen as a fuel in the future. My gosh, really? Ang galing, no? Hydrogen ready, okay? CCGTs will play an important role in Europe's drive to carbon neutrality, okay? While making sure the lights remain on as we they reach for the future hydrogen society. They want to establish a hydrogen society, right? Uh, given their versatility power plants that use gas or a mix of gas and hydrogen to power these, today can power them with hydrogen alone sa future. And, and they're looking at powering it 100% hydrogen in the future. That enables them to avoid stranded assets and evolve and step with the energy transition. Oh my goodness, right? Okay, tinan nyo yung itsura ng kanilang city, oh. Dream city. Oh. Eh, ganyan na yan. Oh. Diba? Ang ganda. Tara, hold on. Ah. Ang ganda naman. Okay? Oops. So that's what I mean, okay? All right. So the third technology is Power X for cleaner industries naman para sa mga sa mga cleaner na na mga plants, mga mga fa, uh, factories, mga pabrika. Power to X, okay, is another technology, is another versatile solution that holds great promise for you Europe's energy mix. Essentially, Power to X allows for the storage and conversion amount of surplus electricity on a larger scale compared with traditional battery systems, okay? As RWE Power's pilot MEFCO2 project in Germany sets out to demonstrate, this can help to 
uh, mitigate the intermittency where renew, renew, renewable energy like wind and solar power generate too little or too much energy, making them more reliable diba, during peak hours and reducing our dependency on fossil fuels. Okay? On the, sa, sa, sa larangan naman ng industriya, okay? Itong power to X ay makakatulong in expanding the benefits of using hydrogen to decarbonize the sector surplus energy can be converted into hydrogen using an electrolyzer, okay? That hydrogen can be further converted into ammonia or methanol into a diesel substitute for generators or shipping producing drastically lower nitrogen oxide and carbon dioxide emissions, okay? Itong MEF CO2 project, for example, produces a ton of methanol every day from 1.5 tons of carbon dioxide. Galing, di ba? By replacing carbon-intensive uh, feedstocks such as natural gas and coal, hydrogen can reduce industry emissions. Okay? Uh, so that's why ang, uh, ang, ang, ang goal ng Europe is to build and install bigger electrolyzers near large refineries para yung emission nga ng CO2 ay mabawasan, right? Right now, okay, the first big test in Europe is to Europe's drive to a carbon neutral 2050 will come just 10 years from now pa. As part of the Green Deal, countries across Europe must reduce gas emissions by at least 55% compared to 1990. So ayan ang kanilang goal, okay? using those three technologies sa Europe. Okay? Sana all right. Kaya lang kaya tayo, right? Anyway, so there we have talked about video games, right? And also now about the hydrogen, uh, use of hydrogen in three technologies in Europe. So, somebody asked me, okay, about work, okay? Work and how, uh, they said, what makes, what, are, what is the criteria now of, uh, or what are the things that people need to have the, the ability to get rich? Ano ba itong, itong meron sa akin ng text asking about, sandali lang ha, hanapin ko yung text. Hmm, nawala. Yung text sa akin about, what do you need now, what? What do people need to have the ability to be rich? Okay. Well, okay, okay. I I got I come, came across a bit of uh, information uh, recently sa Yahoo News. Okay. In answer to tung tanong sa akin sa sa email, kung what does it take to be, to become rich? Right. There's this article that came out in Yahoo News. Okay. Uh, last Monday, written by Nicole Spector. All right. Okay, sabi na, here's how much, in, okay, how much does, uh, ano pala, your question was, how much do you need to earn in order to be categorized as rich? Diba, case to case, case, to case naman ito eh. There's an interesting, ano, piece of uh, information here uh, that I found out, okay? Uh, But uh, we'll talk about that in another ano na lang, episode. Yung tungkol sa, uh, ibang, sa because I there's like di different uh, criteria or different ways in the ibang major countries around the world. But then let's talk about that another time, all right? Let's talk about that another time. Uh, Miss Angelica says, we have started green public procurement a few years back po. Kaya lang, limited products lang. We also have green buildings na rin. I know, but compared to Europe and other green countries, we are still lacking. Totoo naman. Uh, years ago, really, I because I I have uh, I'm also affiliated with a com. We yeah, have my one one of my businesses is also I'm I'm a I'm a consultant in this company that we provide uh, green technology for uh, for businesses and and even uh, communities. No. Like uh, solar paneling, solar everything, right? Solar air condition. I mean, uh, inver inverter air conditioning, whatever. 
those things. We, then there's also green buildings na rin talaga in, in Makati. I know that. Um, and also, I even have people, friends who have uh, solar panels in their house. Actually, si, si Jim Paredes, okay, his house, uh, his, his house is solar panel talaga noon, noon pa. Sabi niya yung kanyang consumption and electricity from from 10, 15,000 before. Now he only, they, they pay about 5,000 a month. Uh, of course, it was a, three years ago, solar plant paneling was very, very expensive. But now it's it's more affordable na kasi madami na nga na nagli-layout niyan, right? He said, because he eventually, because it pays for itself, yung ginasas mo. Anyway, ang bahay ni Jim Paredes ay so, solar panel, okay? So, yun, pina, pina solar panel niya yun. So, yun na nga, di ba may konsumo from 15,000, right, uh, down to 5,000 uh, a month. It's a big, big, uh, big deal. So, meron na tayong mga ganyan measures dito sa Pilipinas. In fact, my brother works for hybrid uh, company, uh, the Sanayala company, and what they do is they lay out uh, these solar panels and give solar lamps, whatever, sa mga LGU, sa mga remote areas, right? Uh, they 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 help communities have uh, become a sustainable community by rolling out those uh, uh, energy ef efficient uh, measures, okay? So, ginagawa na natin yung dito sa Pilipinas, di ba? Pero pati yung mga pagre-recycle, blah, blah, blah. Pero, hindi pa marami. Hindi pa marami yung mga green buildings, Angelica. I know it nga. But, but yeah, some th more than three years ago, it started na here. I even, I forgot the name of the, there's this one guy who's an expert in green technology and he has to, he has to put his thumb mark uh, in a building para ma, ma assess na, ano na siya, it's a green building. I forget his name. My God, I dealt with him, you know, when I was, uh, when I had a project about green technology. But anyway, another time, okay? So, um, <clears throat> of course, uh, in the health aspect of the news, okay, uh, the, the DOH already approved giving booster shots this year for health workers and seniors, okay? So, na-approve na, na, na tayo mag-booster mag shots. Sa America kasi nag-booster shots na doon, right? Uh, the Department of Health Secretary Francisco Duque approved the recommendation of Health Technology Assessment Council on the provision of the coronavirus vaccine booster shots. Wow. All right, okay. They recommended that booster vaccinations of health workers and senior citizens in the fourth quarter daw of 2021. Eh, hindi pa nga tayo tapos, di ba? So, sa mga regular na bakuna. So, siguro nga, pag, kung matapos itong, by, dapat by this month tapusin na para, sabi kasi last quarter, bibigay na yung booster shop, shots, okay? Uh, sa mga frontline workers, tsaka sa mga persons with comorbidities, at tsaka sa seniors, okay? If, However, this will be done once there's a sufficient supply, of course, ng vaccine, chicken and egg naman to, and the acceptable vaccination coverage has already been achieved. Yun na nga, di ba? Depende. Pag na, we are, if we already achieve 70% of the target population, yung America nga, di ba, hindi naabot yung 70% target, gaya-gaya tayo, 70%. Hindi nga, eh. nag, nag, nagsipag la, pasyalan at makipag feeling wala nang virus sa mga taga-America, eh, right? That's why nagsaspread na naman in certain places, okay? Yung bagong variants. Well, so, yun. Outside of the hotspots, okay, may mga hotspots kasing region, like NCR, Cebu, Davao, Iloilo, Calabarzon, and Central Luzon. So, hindi pa, pag hindi pa na-achieve dyan yung 70% vaccination, hindi pa bibigay yung mga booster shots, okay? Outside of these hotspot areas, the boosters will be given by 2022 to other eligible priority groups provided that more than 50% of the target population for vaccination has been fully vaccinated, syempre, right? Alright, so yun yun, okay? That's the news regarding health, okay? Yung pag-approve ng booster shots, right? So anyway, uh, if there are any questions, please, or suggestions, please feel free 
to send them through broad streamcast communicators or through my 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 facebook or my messenger or my email please and uh, uh, i would gladly uh, consider talking about it here or answer or addressing your questions okay uh, okay I, um in the hold on a second all right yeah the, the artificial intelligence uh, issue okay we will talk about that in the next coming days all right aha uh -huh. no pati yung tungkol sa cryptocurrency o nga naman i i promised that we were going to talk about cryptocurrency yes 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 in the next coming days all right okay in the world the man of lifestyle okay the technology uh Siyempre, di ba, in this pandemic, more than ever, uh, more than ever, we, oh, yan, doon na pala ako. More than ever, we uh, use e-commerce, uh, uh, we buy online, we order food online. Teka, tanggalin ko na ito. Tara. Diyan ka na. Tapos ka na eh. All right. Uh, I, I, meron pala akong balita about that. Boy, there I see myself now. Tara. Uh, on Facebook. So, what was I saying? Hmm. Food Panda, okay? And Rebel Foods form long-term partnership. Ha? Doon sa mga umu-order sa Food Panda, uh, nag nagkaroon sila ng merger, merger or acquisition. Ang Food Panda announced a long-term multi-market partnership with Rebel Foods, okay, to enable restaurant partners and cloud kitchen operators to grow additional revenue streams or additional income at little or or no startup costs. Ito sa mga nagninegosyo, yung mga restaurants at mga pagkain uh, offered online na in-order, okay? Rebel Foods, ano ang Rebel Foods? Rebel Foods is the world's largest internet restaurant company headquartered in India. Whoa! The new digital first F&B format sees Food Panda and Rebel Foods joining forces for the benefit of local and small players in the food and beverage industry. Wow! Itong partnership na ito, okay, is a set for an initial five years, okay? Both companies will aim to launch more than 10 virtual brands ooh, ooh, in over 2,000 outlets across the region making the, this the largest virtual brand partnership partnership in Asia and the first of its kind in the region at this scale okay as part of the partnership rebel foods brings their culinary expertise efficient sops and iconic ready to deploy brands that are easily customizable for local preference, prefer, preferences in any region or place okay so, meanwhile, Food Panda enables hundreds of thousands of restaurant partners and cloud kitchen operators to plug and play virtual brands into their current operations to grow additional revenue streams. Okay, ayan ang suggestion ng Food Panda. I-download nyo na raw itong mga virtual brands, okay? Because it is at, at little or to no cost to you, Okay. Smaller SMEs or small to medium businesses and restaurant partners on the Food Panda platform can adopt new recipes tama, and utilize their square capacity to grow additional revenue streams while creating diversity in their menu offerings. Tama naman, right? In this first phase of the partnership, which began no December 2019, pa, Rebel Foods introduced four brands across six markets lang. Singapore, Malaysia, and Bangladesh, Thailand, Hong Kong, and the Philippines through the Food Panda Network, okay? Orders for Rebel Food Brands on the Food Panda app on average grew 40% month on month in the past six months with more than 200 outlets across the six markets signed up to add virtual brands to their existing food and beverage offerings, okay? Ano? A, bur a virtual brand, okay, ano, ano virtual brand? Okay, a virtual brand is an online-only food concept where a brand exists digitally, okay? 
walang dine-in present to, virtual lang, okay? Walang dine-in, walang restaurant na physical, okay? And it offers food that is available only for delivery and pickup from the outlet, okay? Marami ngayon ng ganyan, maraming virtual brands, walang talagang restaurant, pero sa bahay lang nagluluto, okay lang, whatever. Virtual brands can operate from the kitchen of an existing restaurant or through traditional cloud kitchens. Through this partnership, customers across Asia can enjoy great food options from the virtual brands, okay? Okay? Uh, hmm. Ang dami-daming mga ibang brands. Okay, so that's that's what this merger is all about. Okay, Food Panda and Rebel Foods. All right, very good. Okay. All right, so, uh, oh my goodness, see, time flies as usual. Okay, time flies when it's we're having fun and it's almost time to go again. Okay, but tomorrow, more, more, uh, more updates on technology. Okay. Uh, regarding uh, technology and in our, uh, and how we use it in our lives. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Uh, and it's my pleasure to always be here araw-araw para sa inyo, para hatidan kayo ng hindi lang balita, kundi uh, upgrades on how technology can work for us and help us improve our lives, especially in this pandemic, right? Kung paano tayo natutulungan uh, mag-survive dito, right? So, Oh, hindi ko na naman nakita yun. <laughs> Nasaan na yung broadcast ko kanina? Pa paano ko i-end to? Hindi ko... Ah, there you go. Alright, very good. So, thank you so much for joining me and magkita-kita po tayo muli ulit bukas. Alright? Thank you very much, Angelica Paz. Thank you very much, Cynthia. Thank you, uh, Jeannie. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, my lack of family for joining me. Alright? Maraming maraming salamat and my Bautista family. Thank you very much. Magkita uh, kita po ulit tayo bukas for more updates and more uh, stories to tell regarding how people's lives are affected and affected by technology. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtutok at pagsubaybay sa amin. All right? And of course, uh, for those who want to uh, view past episodes, go to our YouTube and uh, like and subscribe po para para po mas marami pa tayong ma-reach ma na mga tao at matulungan sa information that we give and the things that we talk about in our shows. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a good lunch today. And uh, I hope the, the week is going well for everybody. Right? And siyempre masaya tayo sa balita na bumaba ang, bumababa considerably ang infection sa, sa Pilipinas. Right? From 8,000 to naging 5. Basta yung merong dra drastic drop. Saan na-attribute? Of course, sasabihin natin dahil sa mga bakunado, right? But also, siguro na rin dapat yun sa tao yun eh. Hindi yan sa bakuna, yun sa so behavior ng tao, di ba? To, to, to have all these safety protocols. Thank you so much for joining me today. And of course, as I always say, don't forget to, to the three things should remain in our lives. Faith, hope, and love. Faith, hope, and love. Thank you very much. And see you tomorrow. Inyong natunghayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online. Sa pamamagitan pa rin ng Broad Streamcast Communicators. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po.